you know, we talk a lot about kind of infrastructure, um, but there's some simple things you can do. Let's take Los Angeles. Los Angeles took basically a you know, big, enormous database of, of congestion in their area, and they retimed all the traffic signals in Los Angeles, which had about a net 10% increase in, or a 10% decrease in overall congestion in the Los Angeles area by doing nothing other than retiming traffic signals. You have cities now, Amsterdam, London, um, now doing dynamic traffic signal timing. So looking at real-time movement on the roadways and adjusting not only the traffic signals, but lane directions and other levers to optimize throughput in the overall system. So, you know, you can talk about infrastructure, but there's a bunch of other things you can do to optimize the system. And of course, the market is helping it along, right? Most, you know, even about 30% uh, of cars in the United States now shipping with connected systems that tell you where traffic is and optimize your route based on the traffic that, that, that's ahead, right? So between autonomous vehicles, connected vehicles, electric vehicles, and, and shared vehicles, what we call the ACEs, the market is saying we need different solutions. And what you're seeing obviously with Uber is much higher utilization of vehicles on the road as people share those vehicles, right? You're seeing with autonomous vehicles, safety improvements and things like that. And these aren't, you know, 10 years out. I drove here in a Tesla and it drove me from Kirkland to Mount Lake without me touching the steering wheel or the pedals. And this is a production vehicle. This isn't experimental anymore. So, you know, obviously not all these things improve traffic. I mean, obviously electric vehicles help with pollution and carbon emissions and the autonomous vehicles can help with safety. So long story short, there are new technologies in the market and they can have a material impact on our overall roadways.